In this video we're going to give you a few tips to make you a better diver for slipper lobsters. We'll look at where to find them, how to grab them. Unlike other lobsters, slipper lobsters tend to stay still unless they really think you're about to grab them. The only thing you can really see moving are these little blue antennas, so it pays to really keep a lookout for them. Slipper lobsters are nearly always upside down in a crack. It's quite easy to just look into a crack and be looking at the uh, bottom of the crack instead of turning up and looking at the ceiling. Always look at the ceiling because that's where your slipper lobsters will be. Slipper lobsters like reef that has plenty of sponge growth, lots of caves, they're rarely found in the kelpie areas. This means slipper lobsters are usually found in the high up parts of the reef in the shallower water. A good size on that one. No eggs. Beautiful. Always pull the tail right back and have a good look for eggs. They can be quite hard to see as they curl their tail up over eggs if they have them. Always release any lobsters with eggs. The best way to grab a slip lobster is to go in hard, quick, and pin them against the substrate that they're clinging to. Work your hand carefully around them and then just lift them straight off. They don't have a lot of strength and they won't kick too hard in your hand like other lobsters can. Slipper lobsters are frequently found in pairs. The most I've seen in one crack was seven. Have a really good look for the second or third slipper lobster in a crack. Slipper lobsters tend to be quite seasonal. In the mid-north coast of New South Wales we generally find them from around the start of August through to about the end of October with September being the peak month. Chris is using a torch here to find slipper lobsters, particularly in dark spots or in caves. The torch can be very handy. You'll notice that the eyes and the blue antennas will really glow in the torchlight. Slipper lobsters are much less concerned about having a torch shone on them than some other species of lobsters. Like most lobsters, slipper lobsters will return to the same holes year after year, so try to remember your good holes because they'll always be productive. During the breeding season, slipper lobsters will often go for a walk between cracks during the day and when they're out in the open moving like that they're very easy to spot. Slipper lobsters in the open are much more peaky and much more likely to try to dart off and swim away from you, so try to come in with a hand either side and be firm in your movements. When they want to, they can actually dart back pretty quickly, as you can see on this one, trying to get back into its crack. Here you can see the really thick sponge growth that slipper lobsters absolutely love. When you find a good crack it pays to leave your gun adjacent to it so if you're putting a slipper lobster or another sort of lobster into your keeper bag you can always go back to that same crack because your gun will be lying next to it. Never have a loaded gun pointed anywhere near you. I hope you've enjoyed this series of how to catch lobster videos. As always, please leave any comments. I'm always uh, open for constructive criticism, or if there's any further information that you think's not covered, please let me know. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.